Hey folks, uh, this lesson is graphing the tangent function. So I'm in my trailer, sorry, getting ready to go on a camping trip and um, uh, my wife's inside playing music. So I have to come out here to do this before we go camping. Okay, so here we go. So um, now what are the key features of the graphs of the tangent and cotangent graphs? Well, we haven't talked about cotangent graphs, but we talked about secants and cosecants. They were the reciprocals of uh, cosine and sine, so the reciprocal of tangent is uh, cotangent. Anyway, so let's graph uh, the tangent function, okay? Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and plug in some uh, x values uh, that we can take the tangents of easily enough. So, so you know, uh, the zeros, the, uh, the pi over 4 families, and the pi over 2 families. 3 pi over 2 is a pi over 2 family. So, so pi over 4 is in quadrant 1. 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant uh, 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. Remember, all students take calculus. And Okay, so uh, let me remind you that uh, the sine is, uh, or the tangent is sine over cosine. Okay, so um, so so here, remember, they always go uh, cosine comma sine. So cosine sine, cosine sine. So we're going to do this value right here, the zero right here. So the tangent of zero is going to be sine over cosine. Okay, the tangent of 45, root 2 over 2 over root 2 over 2. Well, this is just 1. Okay sine over cosine, sine over cosine, sine over cosine, all the way around with the power of 4s and the power of 2 families, okay? All right, so th these are easy enough because this over this is just 1, and then this over this is negative 1. Uh, this over this and negative over negative is a positive right here, and finally this over this is, is negative 1, okay? All right, and then remember, you guys, um, uh, when we reciprocate um, uh, zeros, you guys, um, uh, we get undefined, and when we reciprocate, um, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, when we reciprocate, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a, a zero over a number equals zero, sorry, and a number over zero is undefined, okay, so, so here we have zero over one is zero, up here we have one over zero, undefined, zero over one, zero, Negative 1 over 0 is undefined. Any number over 0 is undefined, and 0 on top of any number is equal to 0. So so we get uh, some vertical asymptotes like we did in the last lesson right there. Okay, so here we go. So so let's do this on 2 pi. So we're going to go ahead and graph uh, 0, 0. So it's going to be right there. Going to graph pi over 4. Let's split this up into more. Here's pi's over 2's. Okay, pi over 2's, pi over 4's. And then when we graph those guys, we put the uh, the asymptotes in, and then uh, so here's 0, 0, here's a pi over 4, comma 1, here's a um, 3 pi over 4, negative 1, so and then here's uh, pi 0, and then and then uh, hello, Benny. Benny's my cat, he came in the trailer with me. He's sitting here purring, he wants me to pet him. I don't know if you can hear them. Anyway, so when we graph that, so remember these asymptotes are a graph that it flares down to. So if we if we picked um, uh, say um, uh, five pi over six right here it would be right about there. And so what happens is it kind of it curves down and then it curves up like this over here. It curves up through the through the point. Whoops, sorry, my cat stepped on it. Sorry about that. And anyways, so there's our graph right there, okay? Makes sense? Okay, and um, so one period happens in pi, okay? So uh, it, otherwise the cycle just keeps happening over and over again. So the top half of the circle, um, your your pi cycle goes through, and the bottom half, your pi cycle goes through again. So one period, when we graph it, it repeats itself every pi. So so the properties of a tangent curve, the period is pi, the domain is uh, all real numbers except all the asymptotes, okay? So they're all the pi over 2 asymptotes on these. I'm going to pick my computer up because my cat wants to come cuddle with me some more, sorry. Um, anyways, and and, uh, and it, so pi over 2 n, where n is an odd integer, so... So not uh, like 2 pi over 2, because that would be negative pi, and, and positive 2 pi over 2 would be positive pi. And uh, so there's no asymptotes there. It's just the graph will go left and right forever, except it doesn't go through those asymptotes. Asymptotes, Mr. Sergeant. Uh, anyway, 
So, um, so the range is uh, all real numbers. It goes up and down forever and ever and ever. Okay. And so here's here's what I my trick on what I did this, and I and I know that the period is in one pi, and typically we graph this middle part right here to show the tangent curve. But on a scale from 0 to 2 pi right there, because remember the sines and cosines and secants and cosecants are on 2 pi. Um, uh, so I'm going to do the 2 pi trick. So it starts and ends at 0, halfway at 0, halfway asymptotes. So put some asymptotes in there. And then it goes uh, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. Okay, so here, I'll show you this. So let's, let's clear this up. So same thing that I just did right there. So let's do this. So we're going to start it and end it at 0, halfway at 0. Okay, so there's start and end at 0, halfway at 0. Halfway asymptotes, so we'll put those in. And then we're going to go um, uh, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. Okay, so that's, that's how the the uh, tangent graph go, goes that way okay all right so let's uh, uh let's talk about the cotangent the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent curve okay now remember um uh, where each function is, is zero so the tangent does have some zeros in there um uh, then the reciprocal of the zeros are going to be asymptotes they're going to be undefined and where the function has asymptotes, the reciprocal is going to be zero, okay? So let's go ahead and graph these, all right? So here we go. Let's graph the tangent curve, okay? So um, here's the tangent curve. So it starts, come on, Benny. He's pushing my, uh, he's loving my computer and pushing it out of my hands. I got it up in the air because he's sitting here purring underneath me. I don't know if you can, I can't hear him. You can't, anyway, <laughs> um, he's a big cat. Uh, okay, so this this is the tangent curve. Okay, so um, it starts and ends at zero, halfway at zero, halfway asymptotes, and then halfway it goes plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. That's the tangent curve. Okay, so now what we're going to do is is reverse it. So where the zeros are, we're going to put asymptotes for the cotangent. So there, there, and there. Okay, and then where the asymptotes are, are going to be the zeros. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So there they are right there. Let's uh, put those asymptotes at the zeros and then zeros at the asymptotes right there. Okay, and then now we just go, it still goes plus because the reciprocal of 1 is 1. The reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1, positive 1, negative 1. So it's just doing a backwards or a flip or uh, a reflection of the tangent curve okay so there it is right there it's going it's the black graph right there so let's take out the other stuff and there's the cotangent curve okay all right so plot uh, one cycle of the transformed tangent function g of x on the axes with the pair of function f of x sorry i got my cat bumping into me Okay, so here we go. Um, we're going to graph this function. Let's go ahead and graph uh, the tangent uh, of x first, you guys. So it's going to um, it's going to start here, and two pi would be like right over here. So end here, halfway at zero. So starts and ends at zero, halfway at zero, halfway asymptotes, and then plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. So there's the the tangent graph, and I could have kept graphing that through here and through here. But your book just wants us to recognize this middle portion right here. This is one period right here from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. That's one pi right there. Okay, so now we're going to take this graph, and it's going to be uh, the amplitude is 1 half. And this uh, reflects our, 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 our period right there. Okay, so there's one third in pi. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So um, uh, the, the amplitude is one half because of this one half right here, okay. And I thought I, and then the period is one third, okay. So I'm not one third, but this one third right here, this there's a one right here, one third. There's one third of a period in pi because the regular tangent curve is one in pi, so there's one third in pi right here. So it's like multiplying both sides by three, we get uh, one one period in pi, right? In three pi, right there. Sorry. So we're going to go out here. So uh, so it's going to be it's going to be tripled right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, this asymptote is going to move out three times as much, okay? And then this point is going to move out three times as much, except it's only going to go down a half right there, okay? So basically, you guys. Uh, up and down half as much and stretched over three times as much. So I'm going to move this over three times as much. So 
we're going to go here's here's one here's two here's three so this asymptote right here is going to be this guy and then this one i'm going to move one two three right there this would be two right there this will be three right there okay and then so there it is half as much so instead of going up one we went only a half okay so here we went over one so we go over three times as that much and go up a half here we went over one down one so we go over three down uh, uh, a half of that and then this asymptote is going to be three times as much of this one and similarly this one is three times as much as this one okay so it's kind of uh, going going up in that direction right there okay all right let's do one more you guys okay so here uh we're going to go ahead and graph uh let's graph the middle part from um uh negative pi over two to positive pi over two for for uh g of, for tan of x okay so there's f of x equals tan of x and notice every two squares is pi over four on this one so every two is pi over four so this is two pi over four three pi over four here's four pi over four okay all right so this one's going to be negative two times as much so this one goes uh, over up one we're going to go over down two it's going to go down two now this two right here well, let's do that here so so that two says it's flipped and twice as high and low okay so this other two says there's two in pi because remember a tangent is one cycle in every pi or one period in pi so if there's two in pi then that means uh, there's going to be one in pi over two it's like taking this and it's like two equals pi so you divide both sides by two you get one equals pi over two okay so there's going to be um, uh, one whole uh, period in pi over two okay so is what it's going to do is it's going to um, uh, from negative pi over four to positive pi over four going to be the asymptote it's going to shrink it by a half okay and then so here we go over one down two here we go over one up two okay and then just draw our graph right there okay almost looks like a line it's not quite a line it's got a little bit of curve to it all right if you guys are in in my class that's going to be your assignment take care